Hi everyone, this is Savina coming at you from Inside Out Transformation. Thank you for watching this video. And if you find it helpful, please go ahead and share it. The idea I'm here to share might not be new to you. It could be a good refresher, but either way, if you catch an insight, if you think it's gonna help out somebody else, somebody else in your circle, your coworkers, your friends, your family, please go ahead and share it. And I would really appreciate it if you make comments and or put down your questions for that matter. I would really appreciate it. So today, I wanna to talk about character and competency, right? By competency, we meant our ability to do something. We're capable of performing that a task. We, we have the knowledge, we have the experience, we're capable of filling up that position, you know, talking about in the professional world. Whereas our character is our mental and our moral qualities combined forming us or the way we behave. Are we trustworthy? Are we reliable? Do we respect others? Those things define our character. So, but in life, especially in the professional world, which one do we make extra effort to improve and develop and widen? And I'm sure you agree with me that it's the competency part, right? A lot of people go earn certifications or uh, earn a degree and then go further or have a, a degree in a, a certain pr um, profession, but do management as a, as a master's level so that they can broaden their horizon, right? Uh, increase their, co their, their competency um, and add value to themselves so that they can be more valuable to to, the, to, to contribute to organizations that they work for or whatever the case may be. So we work so hard with our competencies, whereas it's, sh it's showing uh, that people don't work as hard in developing good character. Okay. So this is common everywhere. So our character though, are the ones that safeguard those talents, those gifts, those abilities, those capabilities, the way we handle things, how trustworthy we are, um, do we think further uh, for an, an organization or do we make decisions based on our emotions or a quick and easy one so that it will be comfortable for us? So developing our character should be also a priority as well as our competency. That's the whole idea that I read because um, like I said, it safeguards our, our talents, our gifts and we can go further, we can fly further. So the way he puts it, John Maxwell puts it in the book is like, just like an airplane cannot fly without two wings. So competency and character are like the two wings of a plane. For the plane to go further and to land where it needs to land and to really face the higher altitude that it has to fly into, it needs those wings. So just imagine a dysfunctional wing being on the air. It might be able um, to let it like um, take off, but then it wouldn't take it to where it needs to go, right? chances are that plane can crash. The same thing with us in our professional life. If we don't develop our character as well as our competency, our chance of going further, reaching high altitude, taking our organization to the next generation will be really, really compromised. So just imagine you are a person of character, you're trustworthy, you do your job right, your own time and everything else, but then you don't have the competency. You don't have enough knowledge to make greater decisions. That will be a lack too, right? And, and that the same goes, the flip is the same too. Like you, you could have the competency. You could have the knowledge and experience to make those bigger decisions. You could take this organization further, but then you lack the character. People cannot trust you. They cannot turn their back because you might easily stop them. So that could be another loss too. So for us to go further in life, we need to develop both. So the point I'm trying to make, I'm sure you guys are capturing it, is we both competency and character needs to fly together. They need to be developed together. They need to be matured together. Um, and I was thinking about like, when we take, when we go from success to success, or well, when we go from taking from one responsibility to a much bigger responsibility or taking a bigger position where we uh, uh, many people are reporting under us. We need to make bigger decisions. So we need our character to be solid. We need to be able to um, make decisions based on principles. We need like, we, there are decisions that needs to be made quick. Are we gonna make it 
based on our comfort level. It just to make just to benefit us, or are we going to think about the people? Is it, is it a me attitude or we attitude? Is it going to uh, think about further down the lane? Is it going to be generational? Are we planning to be a great example where leaders underneath us can learn from us and be able to take, to, to, you know, to take the responsibility from us when the time comes? So having a good character, a solid character, safeguards those talents, those abilities to perform our job, but at the same time, it really help us to create other leaders underneath us. We make better decisions. We don't make decisions just thinking about temporary. We think about we have the a bit, you know a, a bigger perspective. We we'll make decisions based on long term benefits. So, developing our character should be something that we should focus on as much as we focus on developing our competencies. So I hope you learned from this message. If you do have a comment, a question, please put it in the comment section and share this video if you think it's helpful for others. I thank you so much for staying with me. Until next time, goodbye.